Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, we're going to take a deeper look at Super Select AI. This is the marquee feature, in my opinion, of Photo Raw 2023. It's going to change the way you approach masking and selective adjustments in Photo Raw. Uh, I shared a video earlier, uh, maybe about a week ago, that went through some of the, uh, the, the the key features that are coming in 2023. But now I've got my hands on a pre-release version of 2023 so I can show you Super Select AI in Photo Raw in action so we can get a deeper understanding of how this tool works and where it's going to fit into your workflow. Now I am using a pre-release version of the software so the final product might look a little different and you know, any, any kind of rough things you see with the masking know that on one still fine-tuning and finishing the feature and the product. It's early September here. They're releasing this sometime in October, so there's still time for them to be refining it. I do expect things to change a little bit. Also, if you are adding Photo Raw to your toolkit or you're upgrading your current version, you can throw some support my way using the link in the show notes. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Gives me a little support so I can do videos like this. And give my offer code a try, SDP20. Uh, most folks are reporting that is working for them, saving them 20% on the purchase of Photo Raw 2023. With that, let's have a look at Super Select AI. Super Select AI lives in the edit module. It is one of the tools in the tool well. And this is uh, in the workflow, you, you've done your, your globals, you've done your develop work, you're ready to start doing some selective adjustments. And like this photo, I want to get a little more richness in the sky, a little more pop on the skyline. Well, traditionally I'd grab a filter and then throw some masks on and so forth. But when I have a subject like this, a super select AI just makes it so much easier. I'll pick super select AI. You have some controls across the top, apply, paint in, feather and so forth. Honestly, I'm gonna recommend you work on screen. As soon as I start hovering over things, Super Select AI goes to work. Anything you see red here is what Super Select AI is choosing as something it can work with. It recognizes a sky, it recognizes a skyline, it recognizes the, the, the harbor here, and like these little spots over here, that's like, you know, really like kind of like trees and so forth. So if I wanna treat my skyline, I'll click once, it turns blue, meaning I've selected this to be included in the adjustment I'm going to make in just a moment. And for this, I also wanna grab those little bits of trees there. Once I have things in blue, and this mask that's being shown, this is kind of this rough estimation that Super Select AI is doing, just so you can keep working quickly. I've got that selection, I right click, and now I can add something. I can hover over, let's say, dynamic contrast, and you'll see the change in real time, right? Um, if for whatever reason I wanted to do selective coloring, I could make the, the skyline black and white. And you have access to all of your styles for any filter, for any adjustment, you know, including ones that you may have created on your own, like all of these you know, I created beneath this, this line here. These are all my styles. So everything is available and accessible. For me, I want to do the dynamic contrast natural. And then what happens? The filter gets added to the filter stack with the mask that I'd used super select to create. Once that filter is added, that mask is indeed a mask, right? I can view it, I can work with it and refine it and do anything else I want to do with it just like any other mask. But in most cases, it just gives you what you need. And this can continue, right? So now I can go back to super select. I want the sky and let's adjust and I want to make the sky cooler. The sky has been made cooler. I have that adjustment that's been added. And once again, it is just a mask and of course I can go in and refine and fine-tune like that might be a little bit cool for my tastes for this photo let's go back to super select one more time because I'm bouncing around here to show you how it works so super select click once to make it blue right click and uh, let's do this one as a, uh, a color adjustment there it is and I might actually do sky on this to kind of enrich the blues ever so slightly. A little bit of a tweak there. That's a subtle one. That's really a subtle one. But uh, but you get the idea here. And the thing that's nice about Super Select is I'm still in the tool, right? If you know, when I was showing you 
I'll open up the mask and I can see that it's just a mask and I can keep working with it. Your workflow will be much more fluid. As a matter of fact, we're going to do that right now. This is going to be the, the, the real workflow when you're working with Super Select AI. That was the dry run to show you how it works. In practice, you come to a photo like this, you're going to go, all right, I want a cooler sky, I want a crisper skyline, and I want to do something with that water. So let me start with my sky. Click it once to select, right click, adjust, let's make it cooler. Okay, I'm still in Super Select AI. That tool is still there. Click on my skyline, get my trees in there, right click, dynamic contrast, natural. Let me go down to the waterfront here. Click, right click. Um, maybe this time instead I'll do like a, I'll do like a, a surface blur because I'll make that water softer. All right, I've done all those things. The blur, I want to dial that back. That's too strong for that, right? Nothing. Add some in. Uh, in the local adjustment where I did the coolness to the sky, I can tweak that and get that dialed in. And now I've finished processing this photo more or less entirely in Super Select AI, getting all of those different targeted stylistic changes to the photo very, very fluidly. So that's really the, you know, the, the, the nickel tour of Super Select AI. Now I do wanna show you some other photos. This photo here, is a, a very clear subject and super select AI is going to shine when there are clear subjects. When you have photos that have uh, more busyness to them, you can still work with the tool, but uh, you'll, you'll have, uh, I don't want to say limitations, but you'll have to, uh, to pay attention to the various things that it's selecting and consider is super select AI the best masking tool for me to use here, or should I be reaching for something else like a color range mask or a luminosity mask or things like that? And I've, I've covered all of those masking tools uh, in a series on YouTube. So uh, one other thing is Super Select Eye is one of many methods to do your masking. Now in this photo here, there is a lot of stuff going on, right? We got trees, we got rocks, water flowing around, a little bit of sky, all that sort of stuff. What does Super Select AI give for us? I'm gonna hit the K key to get Super Select AI chosen. I'll just start hovering around. It like, does pretty good with the, with the background and the tree line. Got the waterfall in here and pretty good on the whitewash. It's getting a little confused between the, the mid-tones of this whitewash and here, and, and this is where uh, two thoughts come to mind. Number one, this is pre-release software. It's not finished yet, and so I'm going to hold judgment on Super Select AI for scenes like this until the final product comes along. But part two is, well, there are certain scenes where, depending on the masking thing that I want to do, Super Select AI is one of many tools that I could use. Like for example, in, in a scene like this, I like to add a little pop to the whitewash. Well, instead of using Super Select AI, this might be better suited if I use a local and I add a luminosity mask. And now this mask I am targeting to just the things that are bright. Let's get that uh, looking good there. I'll turn the exposure, there we go. Uh, and then I can say, I'll pop my whites a little bit, maybe raise them up. I'll push it really far so you can see it's affecting the whitewash. And yeah, I could even add a little bit of structure to it. So for a scene like this, and depending on what it is you want to do, there may be a different masking tool that is a faster path to what you want. So Super Select AI, you're gonna reach for it often. And when you have scenes that have very obvious subjects, it is fantastic. When you have more complicated scenes, don't forget, you still have all the other masking tools in Photo Raw. I've got one other example I wanna show here too that, that, that illustrates kind of both of these things. So this photo here of me staring up at this canopy of trees, this is a kind of scene where Super Select AI will help me with many of my masking jobs, but maybe not all of them. And uh, best by example, right? So uh, let's do here, let's take care of me. Um, I probably need to get brightened up a little bit. So adjustment, and we'll do a, um, a little bit of a lighten. That's gonna be very strong. We'll dial that back in a minute. Uh, but another thing is like this ground here. Uh, I'd like to deepen that. So 
right click, uh, first one click to select it, right click, and um, this maybe dynamic contrast will be enough to give it to give it the punch that I'm after. There we go. And then finally up in the foliage here, so I still got Super Select AI chosen. Let's choose the foliage and we'll do a color adjustment, choose foliage, and these I would certainly like to dial back some. So the color adjustment, or sorry, the dynamic contrast was the first one here. Let's dial that back some there. The local, which had me in it, let's, uh, let's, let's fix me up. I don't want to be that bright. Something like that. Back over to effects. The color adjustment, the foliage effect is strong. Again, a pre-release software, so a little bit of a quirk there. But let's take the, the saturation of that green down, and then the shift from yellow to red does not have to be as strong. Now for a scene like this, I also like to add kind of a glow look to foliage. But for glows, if you've ever watched my stuff, you know I say this all the time, bright things glow and dark things don't. So I want to use more of a luminosity mask for my glows. So instead of doing super select, I'll go to glow and do my classic luminosity mask and then kind of a maybe a lighter glow, maybe a darker glow for this looks kind of nice. And I can just dial that in. So once again, Super Select AI helping me get through many of my masking jobs, but in some cases, it may not be the best tool for the job. So know your masking tools. Check the other uh, like series I did on masking. So when you have a scene like this, you can use the right tool at the right time to get the kind of look that you want. Now, Super Select AI is coming again in October, Photo Raw 2023. Uh, it, is really really good and it will speed up your masking so it is the first tool that I'm reaching for to do the masking work as I've played around with the pre-release here and once again pre-release software expect to see improvements in the masks that you saw today and when you get your hands on the software too hope you found the video useful you got questions go ahead and drop them below and until next time my name is Scott Davenport have fun